Let's forget. Have I got a gig for you? Have you? The Kevin? You have got to be joking! I think the guitar likes the idea. What do you make of this? It's a piece of music. It looks as though we can trap the music on a wire. We don't want to trap it, Stibbons. We want to stop it. I want us to do another performance. Free. Free. I need to imbibe vast amounts of alcohol. I need to forget. Look! I think it's time to pursue another line of inquiry. You have to stop playing. The music is dangerous. Kotale Nakus, mortis come! The music must be heard. <laughs> and that is the right of Ash Kenty. Who are you? What is this place? Oh! Let me go this instant. The right of Ashkenti calls death into the circle, and he, or as it may be in this case, she, can't leave until we say so. Who are you? I am Mushroom Ridcully, Arts Chancellor of the Unseen University. A wizard? I must say your predecessor was a lot more gracious about it. Why have you summoned me? We need to ask you some questions, and then you have to answer them. Truthfully. Well? This new music, how do we get rid of it? You can't. Does it live anywhere? It seems to have lived in one instrument, but I think it's moving around. Can I go now? No. Um, excuse me. I, I don't want to cause any trouble, right? But is this death or not? I mean, I've seen pictures and they don't look like her. Y yes. She could be anyone. I thought death was taller and bonier. She's just some girl messing about. We did the right stuff, and this is what we got. She hasn't even got a scythe. You were saying? <laughs> Bob, always thought it was time for a change. Right. It's time girls got a chance in the professions. <laughs> Don't you dare patronise me. Oh, I'm sure a woman could be almost as good as a man in the job. <laughs> Young lady. Yes! Would you care for some breakfast? It's getting bad. Yeah. Ever met a zombie? Mm. And we both know why. That guitar. When we're on stage, that thing is in charge. Give me ten seconds with an axe and no more problem. Shh! That damn thing's listening to us. I don't think getting rid of it's going to be that easy. We've got to get to the bottom of this. There is one way we could find out. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn that old music shop was here. Hey, Cliff, it's like the old stories. There's a mysterious old music shop no one's ever seen before. And someone goes in and buys a rusty old curio. And it turns out to be, to be some kind of magical thing. And then when there's trouble, they go back. But the shop Lord. has mysteriously disappeared and gone back to whatever magical dimension it came from. Lord. What is it? We're on the wrong side of the road. It's over here. Oh, well. It's a long time since I had breakfast with a charming young woman. Good grief. You're just as bad as the other two. Very well. Scratch charming. But, well... The sparrows are coughing in the trees, and the sun is peeping over the wall, and I smell cooking, and having a meal with death is a chance that doesn't happen to everyone. What? Never mind. Hello! Service in here! What's a wizard supposed to do? Don't tell me. You went to the band with rocks in concert last night. Any chance of some breakfast? Certainly, sir. Here you are. This isn't breakfast. It's some kind of beef patty. Oh, and you fried it. It's my patty and I'll fry if I want to. Fry if I want to. Fry if I want to. What on the disc is it? It's a burger. You're telling me. Take it away. Bring me some porridge. With relish? Happy, sad, I don't care. Just something we can eat. Yeah, yeah! I only eat muesli at breakfast. Yeah, yeah! 
I beg your pardon. Yeah! Good grief. I said yeah, yeah! That's what I said! I said yeah, yeah! <laughs> Hello! What's that? Where's the old lady? Grab some sailing! All it is! <laughs> I said, grab some sailing! This is the best I can do! Talk! The door was open. So you thought you could rob a poor defenceless old lady? No. I belong to the neighbourhood witch scheme, I do. One word from me and you'll be up in round looking for a princess with a frog fetish. I think this has gone far enough. Uh, my crossbow. We've uh, come by the guitar you sold our friend last week. I won't take it back, you know. It was sold fair and square. Good working condition, too. Where did you get it? Never got it from nowhere. It's always been here. Ah! Don't blow that! Whoa. Oh, we'll be knee-deep in rats! Oh, and I suppose if I blow this trumpet, the world will come to an end and the sky will fall on me. Funny you should say that. This guitar, it's got the number one chalked on it. Who brought it in? How should I know? They just get a number, like this old thing. <laughs> hey, Cliff. I got this last week. I see it. Hey, you don't suppose it might help? We'll take that. Obliged, I'm sure. My, my friend thought you were some kind of magic disappearing shop. You know, here yesterday, gone today. Oh, really? <laughs> Turns out he was looking on the wrong side of the street. That's very amusing. Let's go. <sighs> I don't know. I'll be forgetting my own head next. So what do you want to know? Why this music with Roxin is turning my people into a load of jitterbugging lunatics. You summon death to ask that? The point is, can it be killed? I don't think so. Well, you should know. If you are death, that is. He's my grandfather. That's true, is it? He's gone off somewhere and the next thing I know I've inherited the whole thing. I mean, I didn't ask for it. Being death isn't what I wanted from life. It's certainly not something you get careers leaflets about. And it's such a mess. I mean, there's this boy. What boy? He was going to die in a stupid way, so I was going to save him. But then the music saved him and now I've got to save him from the music and I don't know why. Ah... The boy with the guitar. How do you know that? When you're a wizard, you get an instinct for these things. Look, I might be able to help you. Help me? Take a look at this. My colleagues have caught some of the music in this trap. A trap? This music would never fall for something like that. No? That's it. Don't you see? It walked into your trap. Because it wanted to. It strolled in. It changes people. I've got to go. But you haven't had any breakfast. No, but I had a really good look at it. <laughs> I say, bring those back here at once. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yes? Can you fix this? Ooh. It'll cost you. Do you dig teeth? <laughs> That'll do nicely. <laughs> oh, you, you know something? What? You're my best friend. Am I? Come here. Here. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to know a secret? What? Do you know what it's like uh, having, having a memory is so good, right, 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 so good, you can even remember what hasn't happened yet? No, it, <sighs> yes, yes, that's true. That's, that's me. I believe you. I know exactly what's going to happen. All the things, ter terrible things I have to do, lose. Me up like some all those iceberg thingies. But you mustn't do anything to stop them because, because it's law. It's got to be a law. Just got to do anyway. Tom? Whatever you say. See this glass, right? See it? It's like memory. More stuff you put in, more stuff flows out, right? Anyway, 
everyone's got a memory like this. What keeps humans from going mad except me? <laughs> Poor old me. I remember everything. Oh, as if it happened only tomorrow. Everything. <laughs> it's funny how things come back to you, isn't it? Here's our bell. Lads, I give you the Bandwidth Roxin Tour Bus. It's a farm cart. It's a tour bus. I know a farm cart when I see one, even if it is painted blue. I thought we was going on a stagecoach with liver on the side. Livery. That as well. A stagecoach? Artists of your calibre don't want to travel in a common public vehicle. Besides, you wouldn't want the expense. We wouldn't. I'm your manager. I know these things. What do you think, buddy? I mean, one word from you, I'm sure Mr Dibbler would be only too keen to lay on something more comfortable. Well, uh... It's got wheels. It's fine. Oh, it's got wheels. Great. I've put some fresh straw in. Oh, luxury. Come on. I've had some new shirts done. It's for the tour. Look, it says on the back everywhere you're going. Isn't that nice? Yeah. When the Musicians Guild twist our heads round, we'll be able to see where we've been. We're all set. And I want receipts for everything. Yes, Mr. Deblo. Off you go, then. Yo! Yeah! Free music. Free! What sort of idiot makes music for free? What's the point of it? They have to be stopped. Well, anyway, they've left the city on tour. <laughs> Our law don't apply out in the country. The country? Yes. Dangerous place, the country. Boy, it's turnips for a start. Oh, no. No, no, Mr. Cleet, I'm not touching them again. <laughs> ah, what kind of musician are you? Well, this time I've got you some professional assistance. What? You can come in, gentlemen. <laughs> Lord Robert Salachi, senior assassin at your service. Monsieur Mikhail Portia, Apprentice Blade. In death we profit at your service. Assassins? What would people say if they knew that we'd use professional assassins on a band just because they wouldn't pay their subscriptions? Well, we get a lot more members and we can put the subscriptions up. <laughs> yeah, but killing people? You want people playing for free, do you? Oh, no. I don't remember you talking like this when you jumped up and down on that street violinist fingers last month. Oh, well, it wasn't like an assassination. I mean, he, he could walk away, or crawl away, and he, uh, he could still earn a living. Well, not one that required the use of his hands, for sure, but... I don't want to hear any more arguments. <laughs> they're on the road to Shadopolis right now. I don't want to see you again until their membership has been finally terminated. <laughs> I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with K. Cabbage. Your turn. Yeah. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with a... K. Cabbage? I've been on tour before, you know. When I was with Snorry Snorry Cousin and his brass idiots. Every night, a different bed. You forget what day of the week it is after a while. What day of the week is it? See? We've only been going for, what, three hours? Oh, I love touring, me. The places you see, the people you meet, the open road, the smell of... Cabbages. Hey, buddy, you a country boy. Remind you of home, eh? No. Clemedos is all mountains and valleys and rain and mist and evergreens. No cabbages, Dan. How long has it been now? Three hours and three minutes. Where we stopping tonight? Scrot. Sounds like a real interesting place. It's just a one-horse town. Oh, sorry, mate. 
I didn't see you. Uh... Coffin, Henry. Pleased to make you a... <laughs> No, 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 wait! Come back! Don't do it! Huh? I mean, you can't sleep in the river! It's... <laughs> it's too wet! Huh? Come on! Come and meet the lads! We live in luxury, we do! <laughs> I give you... Scrooge. Oh, the places you see. The people you meet. Hey, I thought you said this was a one-horse town. It must have died. Hello, Scrooge! I expect he comes alive at night. Yeah. This looks like the whole town should be buried at the crossroads with a stick through it. Come on, Woody. Woody! Oh, he's going in there! Well, we've got to find somewhere to sleep tonight. Hi! Seems friendly enough. I doubt it. I've heard about places like this. A few pints of the local brew, go to sleep, and in the morning you spare ribs. Not me. I'm too stony. Well, you're in the rockery then. Come in if you're coming. Cabbage is doing well. Nice and yellow. Good, eh? That's root fly, that is. Sound. Great. We don't like circuses in Scroat. Hey, hey, hey. We know circus. We're musicians. We don't like musicians in Scrout. What do you like in Scrout? Well, about this time of year, we generally have a barbecue. Spare ribs. Down by the rockery. I guess we'd better show them what we play. You what? Let's do the show right here. <laughs> And this is Foul Old Rod. Duckman. And over here, the Duck Man. You look like death, mate. And not very warmed up. Here, here, here. Have some of this, Buggerit. A toast <coughs> to our new friend. Buggerit. Is your life. Who are you? Lord Robert Salachi, this is your knife. You again. Listen, I think I've got it worked out. You're a gropey, aren't you? What? Ashfeld said there'd be girls like you following musicians around because of, you know, the glamour and everything. Glamour? Some smelly cart in a tavern that stinks of cabbages? Look, this is important. You can't stop me playing. If I don't play, what am I? I might as well be dead. But that's the point! Just listen to that! Marit! Marit was screaming for you! You all right? You better ask her. Who? That girl! Who? She, she's right there! But she's going away now! <laughs> Can't you see? There's no one there, buddy. Now she's getting on the horse. Yes, yes, a big black horse. It's white, you idiot. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, that's the horse that ain't there, sure enough. You'd better come and sit down. She was there. Where have you been? Haven't you found him yet? Leave me alone. Uh, huh? She's been saving that boy again. What? It's none of your business. You can't interfere with the duty. Reality won't stand it. Ah, 
Well, I can't stand reality, so there. This is all your mother's fault. What's my mother got to do with this? I knew there was going to be trouble the day he brought her home. I'll remind you, my mother is dead. Precisely. She's dead. And grandfather is dead. Yes. I have to go back. On my own. I know where the trouble started. I have to go. It won't do any good. <coughs> he says it's up to you now. I know. Nineteen days. That's all I've got left. I had 73 days when I first came here. Oh, the precious days of my life. Fritted away. Shopping trips. That time with the plumber. And now he thinks he can just slope off and leave me to use my life up to find him. Nineteen days. Well, I'm not so sure. I'll get my coat. Back, Vinky. Take me back. something. You knew I was here, and yet you still did it! Understand this. Your parents knew this must happen. She was your daughter. My adopted daughter. I cannot give life. I can only grant extension. Only humans can give life, and they wanted to be human, not immortal. Susan, they died instantly. Instantly. I could go back and save them. For what? A life that has run out. Some things end. This is what I am. Without duty, what am I? There has to be a law. 